payoff pitch. Takes it for a ride. Going to be a shallow right. And that was going to get down for a single. Yes, you do. Swung on that time and popped up. Going to be the short. They're going to call it all. And that's going to be out number one. Pitch incoming. Another curveball. Gets a swing in on the drop third. Throw over to first. Nice routine throw there, but it does let the runner advance to third. Yeah, so again, that leadoff man reaching puts so many in treacherous territory. It has done the same thing here to Brody Chandler. Like his first name, I can tell you that. <laughs> so two away here, takes fastball inside. Third base tries to lay out for it, and Short's going to have to make the toss, and it's in time. Gets it all the way across the diamond there. Calhoun City going to escape the top side of one unscathed and head to the plate. That one doesn't come in low, and Brand gets a hold of it, going to loft it to right field, and it just able to be wrangled. Good contact, just got under the ball. It's Nathan Chisholm fell under that one. So Cohen Brown, the left fielder up now for the Wildcats. And you see our replay, Chisholm able to get under that one a little gingerly with it. Takes that one inside, ball four. And Ingemar is going to put a man on. Tell you what, if he doesn't have to sprint down that first baseline, I'm sure he's happy right now. Yeah, absolutely. Just walking down the line, you can tell there's a little bit of a hitch in his leg. It's a long look over at first base. Not sure he should be. Really that pitch thrown that. in for strike three, and it's three pitches, three strikes, and Jay Moore goes down looking. I'm telling you. Uh -oh. Pickoff attempt, and that one's going to get him. That one's going to end the inning. Curveball bit that time pretty for strike three. Fantastic pitch there. You don't want to leave that because the second it comes out of your hand wrong, it's a hanging curveball. That one rifled down the third base line, and that one going to be tossed over to the big fella at first and Jay Moore for the force. I was impressed earlier with Jay Moore in the 6-3 uh, ground out at the end of the first. Able to get low and extend himself for that one. Do a lot of the, a lot of the underappreciated parts of being a first baseman. It's not just hitting tanks. We'll watch it again here. Throw comes over. More to more connection in the corner. I was gonna say throw comes over from Jeff Porter. That time swung on for strike three, and that's gonna end the frame. It's really really dicey for the pitcher. Uh, close to one here, two two now. He pipes one in for a strike. That one hit over to short, and it's gonna find the gap. I'm not going to rule that in there. That's going to be an infield hit. Well, well placed single that time. Just deep in the hole there. Yeah, well placed single from Jacob Williams. We'll watch it again here. Like you said, just perfect placement deep in the hole. I don't know if he makes that catch, if he can still if make it. If he can get throw. it across the diamond either way, yeah. Moore swings at it and whiffs. Going to strike out on the full count. Swung on again and whiffed by Chandler. So two outs, two strikeouts now for Griffin Prince here in the bottom side of two. Look just a little over a year there. That's absolutely where you want to be. Leaves that one in, and that's going to clear out this Wildcat frame and end the scoring threat. Three outs, three strikeouts there for Prince. Obviously Chandler's got a good bit of control over this, likes this first call. Runs in the high heat, gets him. Two strikeouts in a row now, coming back across the last. It's very impressive for a sophomore then. Curveball, that one hit over to second. Easy play over at first, makes it, and it's two away. Does the smart thing there, stays within himself, just gets the one out. Solid, didn't even really look at second. Did exactly what you're taught to do. And this ball is not exactly hit hot enough where you could turn the double if you wanted. You see Jay Moore going to look the runner back to second. 2-2 two, two the count here. Payoff pitch incoming. That one called in. Strike three, and that's going to end the frame. So Brody Chandler able to battle back and keep it scoreless. Well, even then, the pitcher's thinking, oh, he's made contact twice. You know, a little bit worried about that. That one hit well out in the right. Chisholm going to have to get in front of it. It's a really good piece of hitting there. And the leadoff man is on. Gamely trying to get it out into the outfield there, but you need somebody who can cover range, especially in the corner. Swung on that time, deep side to right. That's going to set up a tag opportunity, and tag they will. Denton is going to try and reach third, and he will. So now runners at the corners and one away.
makes a throw. He's going to get caught in the rundown. That throws on the dirt, and he's going to be in safe. Calhoun City going to score the first run of the game. Caden Denton took his chance and made the most of it. 1-0 Wildcats. That was an interesting sequence there. And Calhoun City takes the lead 1-0. It looks like Walker Robbins over it first. It's kind of made an errant throw over the second as part of the rundown. And there yeah. you see the camera on. Does pit. a really good job of just reading the play, realizing he has the opportunity and goes. But that's that's going to be an E3. The ball was low out there. Yeah, absolutely. That one hit back up to the pitcher. Prince going to field the position. <laughs> Looks him back in the second. First week of free agency hit my Jaguars like a bomb. A whole lot of dealing. Hit into the gap over it short. Throw is not going to be in time, and that's going to put more pressure on Prince. It's so hard not to. Pittman, and that time he's caught. So two pickoff attempts result in and out now here for Ingemar, but not before Calhoun City takes the lead one to nothing. That one popped up, going to be to the shallow infield short, ranges over, gets under it, one pitch, one out. Settled into a rhythm. And a great tempo on the mound, too. That one popped up again. Over to center. Ranges under it for an easy out, too. Brand just is exactly where he needs to be. Count knotted up. Here's the pitch. Swung on way high. Strike three. That's going to end it. A 1 2 3 inning. Brody Chandler up now, and he's going to try for the bunt. Well placed bunt. Prince oh. misses it. The throw's in time, but it is going to advance the runner. Swung on that time back towards Prince. He's going to look the runner back. Throw not in time. And he's going to be safe at third. And now they're going to advance the runner to second. And almost, <laughs> it really looked like Moore wanted to take a run at, third, uh, at home there. Any good contact here probably scores your second run. Can't get it. That's going to be strike three. Swung on that time, dropped third, but that's going to end the frame. Griffin Prince and Ingemar are going to escape. Still only down one. They're going to have to find some kind of production here in these late innings. Uh, the precision he is right now, it's really hard to sit on one or the other. Curveball thrown in for strike three. Beautiful, beautiful payoff pitch. Curveball thrown in for <laughs> strike three. <laughs> My fair. goodness. Broke him off at the knees. <laughs> Another one hit squarely in the gap and died. I don't know what he's seen better than the rest of his teammates, but he's got two hits on that. He made good contact on his first one as well. That's a pair of well-hit baseballs from Dodd. Curveball that time handled by Prince to the outfield. They're going to range under it, and that's going to be out number three. Some more efficient work. Brand up to the dish here. First pitch incoming. Swings on it. Lofts it over to short, but it's mishandled. And that one is going to be a leadoff single. Looks like he just dived a little bit early there. Jay Brand has been very aggressive on the base pad so far. Another bunt here. That one is going to be tossed out. But I'm telling you, Zavon Edwards is checked in here in a relief role. And he's doing a workmanlike job. There. Yeah, I mean, it's just doing, doing exactly what you need him to. A player like that just come out from the bench cold. Absolutely, and that one's hit high and deep. It's not going to burn the center fielder, but it could create a tag-up opportunity, and we're going to see if it does. Brand is hustling there. Hustle works out, and it puts him on third now with two away. Brand's in trouble. Swung on that time. Nobody's going to get two, and it's going to score one. That's in the gap. That might be extra bases, and it will be. Williams going to head for second. Takes Throw a big comes turn in. there. Yeah, it took a big turn. Stand up, one RBI double for Jacob Williams, the catcher. Calhoun City ahead, 2-0. That felt big. That's a lot of contact very rapidly here for Prince. Yeah, kind of getting tattooed early in this one. You've got two outs, but they've been loud outs. They have been. That one perfectly hit into the gap. Just put a rip on it, rolls right into the hole, gets a big turnaround first base. Easy does it, stand up double. Right to be just a little bit concerned about Pittman's speed. He is. Floated in that time for strike three. 
That is a sneaky, sneaky third strike. Golf locks are killer. Absolutely. Absolutely something to avoid. Swung on that time. Doesn't quite get the lead off walk. Might have scraped the sky on the way up. And it drops. First real miscue we've seen out of the Calhoun City defense tonight, Caden Denton. The nerve of some people. I know. Fastball left high that time. Going to be dribbled over to second. Have to make a quick flip, and he does. That's going to be the first out of the inning. It's almost Sometimes the bat is almost off your shoulder and halfway around before you realize. Swung on deep into left, ranging over, and it's dropped. That's going to score one. Going to lead to a stand-up double for another. And that was Juan Edwards, the substitute left fielder, put a glove on it and then subsequently dropped it, and it plates Ingemar's first run of the night. Curveball thrown in, strike three. Got, still got plenty of command in this at bat. Goes fastball, that one popped up into right, ranging, ranging over, and he can't come up with it. It's gonna score another and not us up. All of a sudden, three errors in this inning. Oh, one to count. Fastball ran in, another pop-up. Denton going to get under this one, makes the grab, and gets out of the inning. Not uh, frustrating. Yep. Frustrating. Velocity than it was in the last inning or two. Clearly fired up to still be back in this. Has picked up the tempo. That time gets him looking for strike three. Cowden City dugout trying to get involved. Swung on down the third base line. Going to have to make a play. Throws in time. Catch is made, and that's two away. A little bit of chirping both sides of fans there. That one. Going to put on Emphatic the right fielder. bad throw. <laughs> yeah, going to put on the right fielder to get to the nine hole. Caden Denton. Two two count, two outs. If only we were in the second inning. If still. only. Well, that's fair. Swung on that time deep into center. They're going to range back for it and make the catch, and that's going to end the frame. Not unless this pitcher knows something. Again, three straight pitches, three straight swings, three straight strikes. Beckworth's going to have to head back to the dugout. Proud owner of our first golden sombrero of the night. Mike. No, high heat. Gets him swinging. But it's going to be ruled to drop third. Williams is going to have to make a rocket of a throw, and he, and he does. does. Right on target. What a throw by Jacob Williams from the backstop. Rifled that baseball. That's an excellent play. What a throw from Williams. We saw him make a couple good throws second in the in-between innings, but he absolutely delivers on that And, one. hey, big props here to Jay Moore, too, having to get to the other side of the bag to make this play. This gets the ball quickly, flips it over, and Jay Moore exactly where he needs to be. That's exactly. a really well-executed play there. Fastball inside, going to try and feel the position, but it knocks the ball off target, puts a base runner on. That's one of those, if you're Brody Chandler, you got to trust your shortstop you to do. make the play. It comes in, struck well, out in the left, ranges over, makes the grab. And now Calhoun City is going to have a chance to head to the bottom side of seven and walk it off despite four errors on the night, still alive and well. Uh, this division. 2A, Region 2 division. Problem with 2A, though, and that one, I was going to say, foul tip, but caught for out number one. He's been working like at the plate. Is just really consistent with it. Absolutely. Griffin going to have to turn, make the throw, and he does for out number two. Both dugouts just all the way forward. Swung on that time, over to third, on a line, and it's caught. We're going to get extras here from Calhoun City. We'll see who the Wildcats bring out to the hill. It looks like it is going to be Brody Chandler. That one left high, and he swings at it. That one was – nobody was getting into that one. That's I am. I'm a nerd. <laughs> yeah, we are. Fastball ran in. Going to get a high pop-up over to right. Going to fall under it, make the catch, two away. That's Jace Griffin out and right. Responsible for that one. Fastball again, thrown in, strike three. <laughs> Brody Chandler <laughs> is throwing enjoy gas it. here at Calhoun City. <laughs> and it's still a tie game. Jacob Williams going to try to untie it here. Blooper out to center. Going to go straight to the center fielder. One pitch, one out. That is. That's fun. That's a, ooh, 
He's going to take one off the shoulder. Pink on him now. Pickoff attempt over, and he's called safe. Ingemar's dugout almost coming over the fences there, howling mad at that one. They're saying he didn't make it. Seeing a, a animated animated conversation between the Ingemar head coach and the just a bit. Coach Ben Wallace out there does not like it. And looks like that the arm might have gotten over the tag. We'll watch I it think, again. Yeah, I think he got that long I was arm. Say, in. I think he swam over it essentially. He yeah, did. He did. He, he did. did. That's exactly That's an what excellent happened. call from the umpire. That's there. a fantastic replay from that the is. folks in the truck. Over Great there. job on camera and on replay. Three pitch at bats over 10 pitch at bats. He'll take that any day of the week. Swung on that time by Chandler, and that is his third strikeout of the night. Such tense moments. Baseball is chess at 90 miles an hour. Something I love to say. Swung on that time. Strike three. Nine strikeouts on the night for Griffin Price. Swung on that time. Drop third. Williams gets over to it, makes the throw, and it's missed by the first baseman. Jay Moore just whiffs on it. Do the count now. Denton. Can't afford to lose this one. Swung on that time into center. It's going to find a gap. Robbins going to hold up at second, and now men on first and second for the Falcons. Hey, that Florida's tough this year, man. Beckworth lays an incredible bunt down. Denton going to look over to third. The throw is off, and they're going to hold the runners. So the bases will load up for the Falcons. Denton's going to hit him and walk one in. Hold on. We've got a dead ball call. Believe that the call is going to be hit off the handle of the bat? I had written hit by pitch already there. We're going to get a replay here. I'm not sure. Looks like it might have hit off the knob. Huh. And if that's the case, that's a foul ball and it's a strike. <laughs> that's true. And I'm sure they won't be thrilled with no. It looks like it. It yeah. looks like it did hit off the knob. In real time, I absolutely thought that one was a hit by pitch. I, I, I did as well. I thought, I thought it hit well. off the elbow yep. guard. Nonetheless, that's going to be ruled a foul ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one the count. Let's begin this one. Pitch comes from Denton. Swung on, dropped third. Nowhere to put him, and that's going to be an out. Pitch incoming, curveball, batted back towards the pitcher. Makes the force at the plate. And going to keep them scoreless for the oh, second half. Wow. Fran three in this oh, at bat. Oh, my goodness. Swung on. Over to first. T comes off the back. There's nobody to throw to. And that's going to score one. He just freezes there when he realized there was no one to throw to. Hank Ruth didn't have anybody to throw to. And like you said, just froze instead of electing to head towards the bag. Fields it cleanly. Yeah, fields it right, right there. Clean. Just pauses. But Denton, late running over. 3-2 now the score. Swung on again. This time over to short. Throw is in time, and that's out number three. Calhoun City will need two runs to walk it off here in the bottom side of nine. Low tempo here, great straw, deals. Gets it in stride, inside for strike three. Another one. That one ran in for strike three. Two away. Swung on that time into the gap. That's going to wind up a single. And the Wildcats have the leadoff man on. One on the count. Swung on that time by Edwards. Popped up. A catch ends it. And that's ball game. 